the least enjoyable part of my job is getting up really early. Getting up at three, half three, you know, for four or five days on the trot is really quite difficult coming towards the end. So you just, you, you get home and you just physically are just tired generally. And you've just got to push through to the evening before you go to bed. Well, that sounds a little bit uh, of a cliche, but it was something I always figured I was going to do. So I pursued it after university and uh, went through a sponsorship scheme. Um, and 18 months later, I came out with the initial qualifications, and then it was a question of getting a job. Um, and that was 22 years ago. Well, the weather's are cool, pretty good. Cool. Two hours steady down there? Yeah, it's just time. Same on the way back. So. Yeah, I would have thought so. So, uh, fuel on board, fuel required is 12.1. 12 sounds good. Yeah, let's take that. Do you want to phone that through? Yeah, I will. I'll phone those figures through and then we'll I'll have speak a to Shell. Okay. Well, there's lots of different aspects that make the job enjoyable. The mix of people that you work with can be enjoyable and frustrating. But there's no one particular aspect. The whole thing as a package you know, stacks up to be uh, a good place to come to work. The way that we can influence the customer experience from the flight deck is, is limited to, to a degree um, because primarily we're here for the safe transportation, um, getting people safely from A to B. Um, having said that, there are occasions um, when things don't go quite to plan, um, mainly on the ground where we as pilots can get involved and assist with making the customers understand what's going on, uh, helping them to understand. You have to remember, of course, that these people are primarily going on holiday, but they're here to want to go and have a good time. Um, and inevitably, from time to time, delays, for example, technical problems with the aircraft will mean that that can't happen quite in the time frame they were expecting. Um, and as we as pilots are often best placed to come up to the departure lounge and explain what's going on. And that does tend to work well. I had an experience like that a couple of weeks ago on a delayed flight, and uh, the passengers were very receptive. Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning, very warm welcome from the flight deck. Going up and coming down is the best bit. Um, so the, the best destinations are the ones that are fairly close. The sector lengths are longer than that. Um, you're just wanting to sort of fast forward a little bit. A lot of people have some sort of apprehension about flying. And one of the things we can do quite effectively from the front of the airplane here is to reassure customers, for example, if we experience any turbulence. And there's one of many ways we can do that. We have our, when we prepare for the flight, we plan for the flight, uh, we can see from the forecast whether we're going to expect any turbulence. Having said that, turbulence is notoriously difficult to predict. So very often you only know you've got it when you're in it. Um, and for many people, turbulence is one of their biggest concerns. So we can come across, explain what's going on. I really enjoy flying to some of the more trickier destinations. We go to some airfields, which are kind of category C airfields. Um, so they take some simulated training and there's just a bit extra to think about. I think probably my favourite airfield is Innsbruck really. Um, it's in the mountains when the weather's nice, it's just a beautiful day out. The best part of being a pilot to me is that I love flying airplanes um, and I often say to people when they ask me that essentially I get paid for my hobby and I feel very lucky and privileged that I have the job that allows me to do that. You get into this because you enjoy flying airplanes, um, and that's what we do. 